good to see you again. Good to see you too, and it's been so, a while. I know, and it's a beautiful Tuesday morning. It is. So I'm and trying to be in the spirit. And we were wondering, what are you going to talk about? I'm Just curious to find out. if Africa is ready for 5G connectivity. Mm -hmm. It's been the talk around the world, and Africa as a continent, I'm sure, yeah. that the conversation should be going on now. It actually is. All right, take mm. it away. All right, thank you. Hello, Africa. Thank you for joining me on SciTech right here on Africa News. And I am Ignatius Anno. Imagine a world where you can download an entire movie in less than a second. Yep, that and more is what the new 5G network will offer users. Now, 5G is the next generation cellular technology which will provide faster and more reliable communication. South Korea became the very first nation on Earth to launch 5G in April this year. The United States also followed with commercial launches in selected cities. 5G is promising super fast speed, which will, among others, revolutionize transport and communication. Though many countries in Africa still use 4G and 3G networks with limited coverage in most rural parts of the continent. Just last week, China granted five commercial licenses to four local companies, thus taking a bold step to become a global leader in the next generation wireless network. Analysts say most mobile network operators are still trying to recover investments on 4G, 3G and LTE. And so we ask if Africa is being considered for 5G. And if so, what will this cost? I reached out to Derek Banabas Lai, Head of Research and Communications of the Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications for Samansis. Take a listen to him. While it will take uh, quite some time for it to hit a uh, critical mass, I think that what is going to drive some of the factors that are going to drive rapid growth will be around value uh, generation, cost considerations, and then also deployment uh, dependencies for countries that are serious about driving 5G adoptions uh, within their, their markets. Our governments need to quickly deploy friendly investment policies. They also need to make plenty affordable spectrum available on the long-term uh, basis. They equally also need to ensure that planning rules that make new base stations uh, easy and affordable to build uh, uh, are also clear. Huawei, China's largest telecom giant, is in a tussle with the United States over security concerns by the latter. Amid the ongoing battle, the company has signed a deal with the African Union, which includes cooperation in 5G communication. I asked Mr. Laie if the continent has its eyes wide open amid criticisms of our relations with China. The beauty about the new technology we are talking about, 5G, is that 5G can use 4G infrastructure. Uh, and for some of the new use cases we are seeing, uh, it will just require, some of them will, will just require soft, software upgrades at the, at the 4G base stations, and then we'll be able to deploy 5G. I think that Internet of Things will make Africa smarter and is the cheapest and easiest part of 5G that I believe that African countries can quickly start looking at uh, to deploy. I don't see anything wrong with that uh, engagement. I think that the AU is also trying to position itself as uh, being much savvy with the conversations that we're having around 5G, and I think it's a step in the right direction. That said, the Head of Research and Communications of the Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications also enumerates the benefits of 5G technology right here in Africa faster mobile broadband and much better fixed wireless uh, services, which would obviously improve access to, to broadband. A lot more uh, productivity, a lot more efficiency uh, on the back of the new and uh, spring, the new sectors, which are equally now all requiring connectivity. And also we're talking smart cities, we're talking connected societies, and all these equipment and all data uh, movement across Internet of Things, all these conversations require a lot more connectivity and better connectivity speeds to be able to position uh, uh, societies that are ready to use the 5G technology uh, for their people. And that's all I have for you on SciTech this week. I am Ignatius Anom. Let the conversation continue on Twitter. Follow me at Ignatius Anom. Use the hashtag... The morning call. Thank you for watching and goodbye.